Bende, you're next. Equal local government area deputy mayor, Chief Charles Obaja, please move on and get ready to receive your own handshake. Congratulations, Deputy Mayor Chief Charles Mubwaja, Ikwano LGA. Deputy Mayor. Isia Langwa North. Isia Langwa South, please come straight on. Mr. Ebere Chukwa Huronye, Deputy Mayor. Congratulations, this year along with North. All right, this year along with South, Mr. Eberechuku Ahoronye, Deputy Mayor. All right, next person, Isukwato Local Government Area, Mr. Goodluck. Okay, Zia. Obingwa LGA should also follow suit, Mr. Chiamela Ekwemu. Congratulations. Oh, half your local government area should please come. Honorable Mpa Ojuka, Deputy Mayor. Local government area, please proceed. Marista Young, Ongwaziem, Deputy Mayor. All right, Omwaya. Okwa East, please. Okwa East, local government area. Chief Onyebuchi Nna, Deputy Mayor. Okwa East, Chief Onyebuchi Nna. Please proceed. Okwa West Local Government Area, Mr. Daniel Le Michael, Deputy Mayor, please step forward.
Omar here, North Local Government Area. Mr. Ketchupo Anthony, I'm a Deputy Mayor. Omaha South, local government area, Deputy Mayor, Mr. Oledi Ngwa Wabweze. Calvin Chijoke, Deputy Mayor. And of course, the last but not the least, Omon Nochi, local government area, Mr. Jaco Augustin C. Congratulations to the deputy mayors as a handover now for the mayors. We also, in the same vein, invite the mayor to step forward and take that little talk. Contained 
Okay, you can go to the Republic of Nigeria. That I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions. That I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Nigeria. That I will abide. By the code of conduct, contained in the fifth schedule, to the Constitution of the Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances, I will do right to all manner of people, according to law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will. That I will not directly or indirectly communicate, communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as many of except as may be required. For the true discharge of my duties as mayor, and that I will devote myself to the service and way be on the people of others. So help me God. Inviting the mayors, please permit me with um, His Excellency's permission. I would wish to recognize the team that came all the way um, to have their stay for a working visit and also to be part of this ceremony. The Education Reform and Innovation Team, ably led by Mrs. Alero Aida Otobo. You're highly welcome. We also have in that team Mrs. Rhoda Odibo. Let me also welcome Mr. Ayodeji Okewumi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Having given the oath of allegiance, may I at this point invite the mayor, Isia Lamba South Local Governor Area, Dr. Elenta Wambuisi Elena. Please, a round of applause. That's the mayor of Isia South. And of course, talking about capacity, you can see for yourself. Congratulations. <laughs> this man here, indeed retired as a US military officer. So you'll understand when I said His Excellency carefully with um, the stakeholders picked the people who will stand in for them in the council areas. Congratulations once again. All right. Next person, Upam West Local Government Area Mayor, Mr. Newman Azu, another capacity mayor. Another capacity mayor. Congratulations. Behold your TC mayors. Congratulations, sir. South LGA Mayor, and of course the next is of our West Local Government Area Mayor, Mr. Newman Azum. Arachuko LGA should please proceed. Chief Joe Ezare, another capacity mayor. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Relations of the West Local Government Area, Mayor, Mr. Newman Azul. Make him welcome, our Triple LGA Mayor, Chief Joe Ezao, the Chief Executive Officer of Sea Fine Hotels in Abia State. so much. Omaha South Local Government Area, Mr. OBK AGK Lottery. This is also another captain of industry who has brought his wealth of experience from the United States of America to contribute his quota to Abia State. Congratulations, Mayor Omar the South, local government area. East Yalamba North, local government area, Mr. Cyprian Kelechi Wanko, Mayor. Behold the Mayor, East Yalamba North, well known business tycoon. And of course, um, a philanthropist for excellence and a man who has also come all the way to contribute to the success of the local communities. Umunochi local government area, Ms. Nandubisi Ike Mayor. Gentlemen, before you, you have the former treasurer of Shell. And of course, today, to the glory of God, the mayor, Umunochi, local government area. So you can see that these men are indeed men who have the wherewithal to run their offices. Congratulations, Mr. Ndubisi, Ike, mayor. Issue Quattro Local Government Area, Air Vice Marshal, Chiwandu Onike retired. Ana Kupada Keva. Ana Kupada Keva. Congratulations. Never in the history of Abia State have we had an assemblage of these solid personalities to be mayors in their different local government areas. So we appreciate and applaud His Excellency, our dear Governor, for these wonderful choices. Equal local government area. Mr. Osinachi Hassan Tuaka, Mayor. another solid fellow, an ex-banker, and of course founder of New Era Foundation. So in here who knows you can wait here to also add up to the local government system. Then the local government area, Barrister Chijo Kewanko, Mayor. so much. Another great personality, Barrister Chijoka Wampo, Benda LGA, or half your local government area. Chief David Oba. The first man who brought 
communication service in the southeast. Ubena, Abreba. The only man of my case here in Mene. So he has come out the way to add a touch of class. Because our governor is a classy governor. Thank you so much. And congratulations to Ubena, Abreba. Chief David Obama, Borders. Let me invite for all my local government area, Dr. Eric Ewebe, Mayor. This is another man who retired as an accountant from Chevron. So, Corona Agata, if I am not today, congratulations. Dr. Eric Ewebe, Mayor, Obingwa Local Government Area. The next is Upunabo Local Government Area, Comrade Nosike Inesiaba. Congratulations. The next, an employer of labor, Ide John Udabala, a ban of local government area mayor. A ban of local government area, Ide John Udabala, wonderful personality, and of course, an employer who has given jobs to countless audience. Congratulations. So you can see, now the man who wear a wig. 
Congratulations, dear Mayor of the Selma Local Government Area, Engineer Israel Wake. Thank you.
I'm a kind of titled my speech this afternoon, Expanding the Frontiers of Development. It is with a great sense of fulfillment that I welcome everyone to this very important event, which marks yet another strategic step in our steady push to meet the developmental needs of our homeland. And let's see the extensive opportunities that abound in every part of the state for the material well being and prosperity of the people. I want to begin by congratulating the newly appointed Transition Council Chairman, who we call mayors, and their deputies for being found worthy by a cross section of stakeholders to serve as the bankers of the new agenda. Very importantly, I'm very glad that you have accepted to bring your extensive wealth of experience in bigger fields of human endeavor to bear in the service of your communities. Commendations are also new to the leadership and members of the State House of Assembly for fast tracking the screening process and doing so much to ensure and the exercise proceeding without inches. Thank you for being part of the progress as we work collectively to build a better society and clear the riches of the land and deploy in honest service to the present and future generations. It is also appropriate that we say a word of appreciation to the Labour Party leaders and stakeholders across the services of all governments and the one day forward for actively participating in the process that led to the selection of these accomplished individuals who will take over the mantle of leadership in our various local governments for the next six months starting from tomorrow. In the first instance, the diligence, efforts, and consultations and negotiations that attended the selection process for the mayors and their deputies are point us to what is possible when we appreciate the true leadership of the true leadership, the responsibility of leadership in our feelings, serving our community with fairness, sincerity, and an abiding sense of innovation. We may not have made the most perfect of choices, but if the feedback we have gotten since the names of the movie mayor we are now trying to go by, there is no doubt that we have made very quality judgment in the choices of the individual selected. It is my hope that the opposition that attended the announcements will be matched by the quality of your performance and education. What we expect from very accomplished individuals like a retired head vice marshal, a retired brigadier general of the US Army, prolific businessman, a retired treasurer of Shell, a very responsible lawyer prodding legal practice in this day, and all that these are the qualities of the men and women that today have been sporting as mayors across the 17 local We are also not oblivious of the fact that there are few leaders who may have some misgivings about the people that have been selected. There are concerns expressed and unstated have been duly noted. But we must be emphasized that there are no perfect arrangements. The beauty of democracy is that in the long run, Opportunities and platforms for service present themselves to everyone in diverse capacity. To the new mayors and deputies, may I remind you that this is a call to serve and not to be served. We do not expect you to get everything right on the first day, but you must be willing to learn, keeping your mind open to new ideas and possibilities. Why this day will give each of you the free hand to manage the affairs of the council responsibly, it is very important to design your programs in ways that are 
compliance with the general development philosophy of the present level party administration. Our priority at all times must be the security and welfare of the people. We are currently working with an amalgamation of critical stakeholders to guarantee the safety of life and property in all parts of the state. So far, the efforts have been very fruitful because as many of them have said, okay, have you had to one of the safest places to reside, travel, or set up a private business enterprise? <laughs> we are first up as leaders of the Belgian local governments, shall include strengthening the security architecture in the towns and villages within your government, especially as the unit land approaches. As we have said on many occasions, no part of our not even an age, shall be seated to any group of criminals, whether they are unproper, kidnappers, bad kids, or any individual or group who that will threaten the peace in our communities. Beyond the security of life and property, our administration is working with multiple stakeholders, including multilateral and donor agencies, global IT companies, and local financial institutions to develop a robust framework for addressing the physical challenges facing our people, including pandemic poverty, restricted access to basic amenities, including potable water, access roads to the farms and markets, limited skills for enhanced energy, and unequal access to the boundless opportunities of the 21st century global economy. The state government cannot wait to accommodate the IDA as new strategic partners in the development process. The task before us are done. But we must remain present. Abi and Lettres shows us above all other political, political groups in this day because the people believe that we have the most credible, competent, and development oriented men and women in our ranks. We have now been given the opportunity to put the electorate right and further consolidate the appeal of our great party among all demographic groups. I'm happy to ask why we chose certain class of people for the mineral positions and my response is simple. We need the best and head to drive the development of the state. We are in a hurry to elevate the standards of leadership to accommodate strictly those who have something to offer. At the end of the day, when the big case has been made, we can offer it to the While I will be the first to admit that the road ahead is still far, However, satisfied that we are progressively, progressively setting a new template for governance in the state. The people now know how and where their resources are being channeled, and Abians can look to the future with great optimism. We are not just reconstructing and rehabilitating roads to scorching political points. Our variety of objective is to improve the economy of the state by working on the fundamental and advanced for economic prosperity, especially in the town with the most potential for accelerated growth and development. Quality road networks for us are not just in themselves, but a pathway to something more profound. When the philosophy is the same for education and health, we are, we are working very hard to improve access and quality of our food. Our goal is to have the healthiest and most educated population and ultimately create a mass of healthy and wealthy citizens. Your primary task as mayors and deputies shall be to make the local communities and towns conducive for active production and rapid growth. We expect you to quickly develop holistic frameworks for improving agriculture and life scale production in ways that enhance output and attract domestic and foreign investors. As you may be aware, Abi has become the most beautiful pride among investors, and you will do well to position your local government as a top destination within the city. You must realize that while the task ahead is enormous, you do not have unlimited resources in terms of money or time. Therefore, get your priorities right build networks that can help you drive the development agenda of our party in your local governments and decide where more 
for the achieve through partnerships with relevant agencies of the state and beyond. One thing you are encouraged to get against is the discussions that are about to come from internal ruling and business partners. You have been called to step with you, and that must be your most important priority. While we expect the party leaders, traditional and community leaders to give you all the necessary support you need to succeed, you must also recognize that there are critical stakeholders whose input should be sought when it comes to the key, far reaching decisions. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. As I conclude, may I assure you that my daughter will constantly remain open to welcome and offer you all the support you need that be yours and take it Do not hesitate to call when you need clarity or guidance or not even With your pedigree and accomplishment, I have no doubt that the promise of a new idea shall now become a reality, even if it refuses to have